Good morning, everyone. The Mass intentions today for uh, Wil Wilma's uh, son, Lucien Hans, and for complete healing of Brenda and Milagod's Sabangan. And it's a special Mass of Our Lady of Mother of Divine Grace. With confidence, let us draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace when we are in need of help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And to your spirit. To prepare ourselves, we ask in silence for the forgiveness of all our sins and offenses. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of wisdom, in your providence, you will that Blessed Virgin Mary should bring forth the author of grace and take part with him in the mystery of our redemption. May she obtain for us grace in abundance and bring us to the haven of everlasting salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people, Lord, with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, who dwell alone in a forest, in the midst of a garden land. Let them feed and Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. As in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them marvelous <coughs> things. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion upon us he will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and mercy to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Let, Let us, us see, see O Lord, Lord, your mercy. O Lord, you have favored your land and brought back the captives of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You turned back the heat of your anger. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy. Bring us back, O God, our Savior. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger last from age to age? Let, Let us see, see O Lord, Lord your, your mercy. mercy. Will you not restore again our life? 
that your people may rejoice in you. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Let, Let us see, O Lord, o Lord your, your mercy. mercy. Alleluia. Alleluia. If a man loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him. <coughs> But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And stretching out his hands towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brethren. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we are faced with a strange and maybe unexpected incident concerning the family of Jesus. Like everybody else, Jesus had this natural family. But we could say that he had come to initiate a new kind of family altogether. Natural families are bound together by ties of flesh and blood, <coughs> of personal histories, clan loyalty and all that. And these ties can be strong, a, a close family, as we call it, or weak in a very small and perhaps not so united family. Matthew doesn't mention this, but the sim same incident in Mark mentions that his family thought that Jesus was touched in his head. They thought he was mad. And they had gone wanting to speak to him, but wanting to take him home and look after him because he seemed to be off the rails altogether. But what Jesus was doing, especially in his comment on this, was redefining the meaning of family. For in this kingdom that he was intent on setting up, the ties of flesh and blood would be expanded. So it would be ties of love and care and concern and service for one another. And most of all, the distinguishing mark of this new family would be doing the will of the Father. And Jesus was also defining discipleship, those who had already begun to follow him. He was now defining their role also as those who do the will of God. <clears throat> and therefore, Jesus is not repudiating his mother least of all his mother, or his family ties, cousins and relations and all that, but expanding or redefining the meaning 
of family, the new meaning that it would have in the kingdom. And this is what affects us and allows us the freedom to move, if necessary, from one sort of family to the other. We can certainly see religious life as another kind of family, uh, even living together, not just having an idea together. The Christian family is always rooted in love, even if it remains intact and people don't have to um, leave their families, they still belong to this bigger family, gospel family, the kingdom of God, those who in their family life and in everything to do with their lives seek to do the will of the Father. Amen. Amen. <coughs> <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God <coughs> So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Almighty Father, Accept our offerings of atonement and praise, and through the working of the Holy Spirit, 
effect the sacrament of our redemption. May that which Christ our Mediator instituted for our reconciliation with you be for us through the prayers of Blessed Virgin Mary, a wellspring of grace and an unfailing stream of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid and gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery 
of faith. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us, and so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> the body of Christ. Amen. <coughs> the blood of Christ. Amen. The body 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 of Christ. Amen. Thank you. 
the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. Let all who thirst come, and let him who desires to accept the gift of life-giving water come. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord God, we have been refreshed at the fountain of salvation through the power of this sacrament and the prayers of Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin. May a closer union with Christ, our Mediator, fill us to collaborate ever more faithfully in the mystery of redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.